What's up, everyone? This is Argon Matrix. Welcome to episode 9 of Let's Play Diddy Kong Racing. And I'm just gonna skip all the uh, intro, and we're gonna move straight to the boss here, because I am excited to fight this guy, but I'm also rather loathing it. Here we go. There's dialogue now. Holy crap, you ran. <laughs> uh, I was just trying to listen there, and his voice really does sound like Zora Link. I don't remember who said that in the last video. Someone commented about that, but it does. A lot of people commented about what he said like, or what he sounded like. Someone said, like, Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z. I don't hear that one as much, but it's still nice. All right, so this is probably the hardest boss fight in the whole... Well, I don't want to say the whole game, but out of, like, the four main, like, area bosses, this is... By far the hardest to me. Because he farts out these bubbles in the water. And it's just like, oh. They are so annoying. Especially, no. <laughs> especially when I laugh every time I get caught in one. Because it's just so ridiculous when you get caught in one. You just like stop like almost instantaneously. And just sit there. It's just like, I don't know. Something about it just amuses me so much. And if you get caught in one, then you pretty much... I don't know, I don't want to say you're pretty much screwed for the rest of the race, because it looks like I'm actually doing rather good here. But I don't want to say that, because that's going to totally jinx it. Oh, crap. One freaking log, man. Sometimes you go over that log, and sometimes you don't. You just hit it, and just go flying off at some weird tangent. Alright, okay, I'm ahead of him now. Once you get ahead of him, he's not so bad. I'm actually going to get this on the first try. That would be amazing if I did. Seriously. I remember spending like so many days trying to beat this guy as a kid and I just could not beat him. And that sound that he makes the wait, I'm gonna make wait for him to make it. That sound right there. That sound is just the most piss it it pisses me off so much now because I had to hear it like thousands of times as a kid. <laughs> it just aggravates me. Like I squeeze the controller a little bit more every time I hear it. But there we go, we won. Why does he move his tentacles so much when he talks? He sounds so menacing too, just like oh, blah, blah, blah. He's like, oh, shrimp. Like without the bubbly sound effect in his voice, I think he would be like one of the most menacing voices I've ever heard, but well done! You've just one more piece of the amulet left, soon you will be ready for Whizbig. You can do it! Oh my. Well, having the amulet completed and being ready for Whizpig are not related in the slightest. You can get the four pieces of the amulet just fine and then lose to Whizpig for seven years. Like I did. Anyway, so that was bubbly. I actually expected it to take that a lot longer than it did. It only took like three minutes, really? Holy crap, I'm, <laughs> I'm not good at that race. I just got lucky there, I think. Anyways, so I think, since we have so much time left... What do I want to do? I feel like I could go do some trophy challenges. But you know what? I think I'm just going to do all the trophy challenges at once. So let's just go to the new area, which is behind this waterfall. See, I told you. I told you they like to conceal things behind waterfalls. So this is Dragon Forest. Is that what he said? And this area. <laughs> it's a really cool area. I like the atmosphere of it. It, it kind of reminds me of like a combination of... um. Some kind of common, like, like, this tree over here, like, you, like, go down there and it's, like, all murky and swampy, and this is actually where the minigame is. And I don't know, for some reason it reminds me of a combination between, um... God, I'm trying to remember the name of that place. Uh, Windfall... I couldn't remember Windfall Island from Wind Waker. That's what I was trying to... Wow, brain fart much. But Windfall Island and, like, the Southern Swamp and Majora's Mask. It seems like a weird combination of those two somehow to me. Anyways, oh, this one's fun. Windmill Plains. This is so much fun. Oh, yeah. So you get to fly underneath the windmills and boom! Through the zippers. And the music just ties it all together. This course is just so phenomenal. Phenomenally done. Phenomenally? Whenever I try to say phenomenally, I always just like skip like the second onima thing. Onima sound or whatever. It's like phenomenon. Phenomenonally. I don't know how to say that. Someone help me, please. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I just really like the way that they did this course. It's kind of just like... 
Well, some parts are like really wide open in these tunnels here. They're just like all closed up and they have really sharp turns too. Since I didn't know you could do sharp turns as a kid by pressing like B and uh, R at the same time. So I'm about to say Z there again. Uh, since I didn't know that you could do that as a kid, then I was just... <laughs> I was just royally screwed whenever I like ran one of these corners. Like, see, I'll show you. Like, without a sharp turn, you like go all the way to the side there, and then like you start turning in towards the middle. It's, I don't know. You go to the two extreme ends of the tunnel. All right, I like to go over this way. You miss the zipper if you take that shortcut, but I think it might be faster a little bit, just a little bit. They might actually just be the same speed, or the other one might be faster. I'm not sure. I know that when you go that. I don't know how it works, because I always thought taking that zipper to the left there would make you go faster. Because you don't have to go very far to your way for that zipper. But it seems that whenever I do, it's people pass me somehow. Right, oh, and of course you want to take advantage of the ground zippers that are <laughs> while, in, while in a plane. I love every time you can do that. It's just such a great feeling of accomplishment somehow. Is there a third rainbow balloon coming up at some point? I want to show, like, the three rainbow balloon, what it looks like, kind of thing. Right, uh, for a minute I thought there would be one to the side, but no, 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 and now I'm just <laughs> so off course, it's not even funny. Alright, here, I don't think there's going to be another rainbow balloon before the end. Oh, well. Hmm. Yeah, the little canyon that we just fl flew through before, it was, I don't know, that's just like, that's just one of the spots that stands out to me. I don't know, I just loved that spot as a kid for some reason. It just reminded me of something. Something in my life that I can't remember. It was like this like one trip that we went on one time. I think we went to like drum hello. And it's just it's just this weird thing. I'm I'm like so like <laughs> I don't know, I have like a cliff fetish or something. Because I'm just so fascinated by them. They just have such a great like atmosphere to them, like the perfect dustiness and like the sheer magnitude. It's really freaking hard to describe, but it's there. Oh my! Did I actually just? Oh my god! I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking ahead to like the silver coins of this of this place, Greenwood Village. Oh, I hate this place so much. I really, really hate this place a lot. Oh, maybe I can get the triple rainbow balloons here, because there's that one, and you can get it, like, one time on every lap, so... Should be able to get it, unless I pick up another balloon really stupidly. Oh, like that. Hello. Alright, actually, I think there is another rainbow balloon that you can get before that one, so... I should still be able to show it off. Oh, yeah, I showed off the shortcut here last time that you can go into the well. I found that one totally by accident as a kid. I just, like... I was just trying to like drive through there just to see if I could, just because I thought it would be awesome. It's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna drive through there. I'm gonna be so cool. And I thought there would, like maybe be a zipper in there or something, because you know they they always like to put zippers and stuff in those secret areas. Oh, but there was nothing there. Did a mine just explode there? It looked like it did. All right, yeah, I do like this level. Just I just like the village aspect of it, but. The silver coins totally overshadow that lovingness of it. Because the- oh, I almost hit that bubble there. Oh, stupid people trying to mimic bubbly. Yeah, but I always, like... What was I saying just a second ago? I don't know, I'm thinking about the silver coins so much that I'm so flustered. Because between the first Whizpig race and the silver coin challenge of this area, I spent a little bit more time on the Whizpig race, but not by much. I literally spent, like, months trying to do this, too. I don't know, this silver coins. But it was mainly because I didn't know how to do sharp turns and how to use the, like, green speed boost. That's what pretty much screwed me out of that. Because you really do need to know those strategies in order to win some of these things. But as I've said before, I don't like using the green speed boost, and I just hit my microphone. Again. I don't like using that because I feel it makes it kind of cheap. Alright, is the key in this course? I think it is. This is the one course that just doesn't seem to fit in this area with me. I don't know why. Oh man, I didn't even get the speed boost there. It's been a long time since I haven't gotten that speed boost. And again, this appeals to like my canyon slash cliff fascination or something. 
Alright, so the key is, this is just ingenious what they did with this freaking key. I love this. I love this as a kid because there's like this bell here, right? So you gotta turn around, then you gotta go hit this bell, and then draw it to rise, and then you shoot up here, and there's the key. But pick it up before you fall back. Thank you. Oh, and it's so fun if you like get up here and you like hit the bell before the other racers get there, because then they just fall in the river. Alright, what am I doing? I'm just, <laughs> just returning to the lobby. You're not gonna win. I think you can win... You can even win if you were the Flash. Come on now. God, such a victorious theme. Alright, let's just back right back into there. <laughs> I always thought that was the most hilarious thing. Have you tried to back into a course? Once you like hit like the loading point into the course, he'll just turn around and just <laughs> drive drive forward into it instead of just showing the cutscene in reverse. I don't know. I guess they just have this weird thing where they just don't want you to see the character's face or something, except, like, they don't want you to see his face when you're driving. So they always have to show him from the back. Let's hit the bell. Oh, I didn't hit it there. Yeah. Oh, I was about to talk about something, too. I don't even know what. I suppose it doesn't matter now. We're in the EU sewers. Alright, oh crap. Did Conker hit my frickin' oil slick there? I think he did. Alright, whoa, 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 what? What 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 just happened? I just landed on top of that log. That was stupid. Alright, Conker, get your face out of my place. Oh yeah. Oh I love what they did with the music. That's what I was gonna talk about. It's like this the music is level, like just listen to it right now and when we get into the castle. I love that, I love that, it's just such a smooth transition, such a perfect segue. Like, it was so perfect that as a kid, I didn't even know if, like, the music just happened, just, like, um, happened to segue to that, like, dark part, that ewy gooey part, at the, as I entered the castle, if, it, if that was just pure coincidence, or if they programmed it that way, I'm pretty sure that they programmed it that way, because I have to be pretty freaking lucky just to get that perfectly timed every single time. I don't know, it's just one of those things that always just drove me mad. Um, to, this, to this day, I'm not even sure that like that's just the loading point of the music, because it still just seems like, I don't know, the, the transition between the two different songs is just so amazing. Uh, let's go down this part, I don't think I've ever been down here in my life. I've never been down that, well I have to have been because there's a little coin down there. But I never really willingly go down there. Because the other passage has a light. Dude, what the hell? What just happened? Did that... Did that seriously just happen? Like, what? <laughs> I just hit the log and it totally turned me around. And I still won? That was totally ridiculous. Totally. Okay, so let's just go ahead and go to Haunted Woods now. Yeah, this is a nice little level too. It's pretty short, but it is definitely fun. Definitely appeals to my dark side. Because oh, I do have a nice dark side. Oh, and I love the music here. This this might be my favorite. Oh, I just had a little hiccup there. This might be my favorite song in the whole game. I'm just going to listen to it for like a second here. <laughs> I love that. It's so perfect. Oh, this is fun, too. When you launch up here, and I don't know. Just, like, the angle that you come in off the road out of that tunnel light is just awesome. Alright, am I ever going to get to show this triple rainbow balloon thing? I don't even know if I am. And one of the creepier aspects of this level is, like, this woodsy part with the freaking the pig, the whiz pig face ghosts, whatever they are. I don't know. They always freaked me out as a kid. Still kind of freaked me out now. Uh, is there anything like around here? Just three bananas. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, this is a really cool level. I just wish it was longer because. Wait, did I hit. I think I hit an oil slick there. I don't know. I just started randomly spinning out of control. Yeah, I just wish it was longer because I really do like these like haunted areas. You know, like I like like the ghostly galaxy in Super Mario Galaxy 2. Or Super Mario Galaxy, I think it's the, the first game that that one's in. Yeah, but they're always pretty fun. 
And of course they have to ruin it with this pink fog. Like, what? <laughs> That's just stupid, man. Stupid mist. This isn't Legend of Lagaya. Le the Legend of Lagaya? No, Legend of Lagaya here. Okay, so that unlocks the door to the boss, the notorious cheater, Smokey the Dragon. But, I think we're gonna have to take him on next time, so... Thanks everyone for watching, and until next time, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, and good night.